guys what's up what's going on we're stepping gamer and i'm back guys oh man it feels like i've been gone for so long but in fact i really haven't um to make a long story short guys what happened is i tried to make a video about this game yesterday on the global launch that's right guys it's globally launched as you are watching this video go ahead open up your google account whatever you want to do or itunes whatever you want to do guys open it up you're gonna find this game marvel strike force go ahead and download it it's already launched yesterday now i wanted to make a video about this yesterday as i said but i was having an issue my phone was not connecting to its charging port so i couldn't charge my phone um i was so pissed off you have no idea i really wanted to make a video yesterday so i ran to the store today and i went in there spazzing out I said, what is going on? This is an iPhone 10 or iPhone X. I've, I'm a famous YouTuber. People are depending on the videos, man. I said, I got a wife, a kid, a girlfriend on the side that they all got to eat. I got to feed these people with this great YouTube money. Um, what's going on with this phone? So they took a look at it. They really, really analyzed it. Really analyzed the guy so good. And then they said, oh... There's no problem, your phone is just full of lint. The little hole is full of crap. So they just dug it all out, they sprayed it out, and it's good to go. That's all it really took. Oh, I was ecstatic. I dropped down to my knees, and we here we are, guys. So anyways, let's get right into it, guys. Enough talking. Marvel Strike Force is out. Play along. I will be featuring this game on the channel quite often now, because I'm, as you already know, I was playing this game for about a month and a half before it came out so our progress is a little bit further on than some of the newer players that are just starting now but don't worry guys uh, i've been playing for a long time i already know how these games work i know everything about them i will make it very easy for you guys i'll let you know what heroes will be useful what heroes you should work on what heroes you should not work on and all that good stuff uh they run offers all the time right now if you're a beginner even for, for me right now, there's offers, all these good offers here. If you want to spend some money, you can always do it. And you know me, I don't hesitate to spend money, which is a flaw, which is not good. But right now, I have enough power cores. So you're spending, your premium currency is the power cores, guys. This is what you spend money on. This is what you use to open up your orbs. And this is how you summon new, you know, newer heroes. Um, if you're patient enough, you open up enough of these during the day. Oh, every so often from doing your raids and stuff, you will get to open up all these orbs and you can get heroes. This game is actually very, very cool. Um, I haven't really put any money into it yet because I couldn't because I was playing with a New Zealand account, which which means I couldn't put money into it. So I've been free to play this whole time and uh, actually it's a lot of fun. I've been enjoying it. They run events. They actually make it pretty easy for you to get almost every hero. The only heroes I don't have is some of the ones down here, which are... Uh, a little bit rarer but if you grind enough you will get these heroes guys so don't worry about it okay so really quickly i'm gonna go through the whole game very very quickly so you guys understand what the concept is so let's just begin uh from the left to the right your challenges are your dailies literally every day you're gonna have different challenges you go in right and then there's tiers whichever tier you can manage to do you should always do as high as possible uh, and three star it if you three star it then you can just sweep it and this way it'll be a lot easier on sundays they are all open so you can get a lot of goodies on sundays right underneath that the arena uh great feature and like every other game the arena you're gonna get your heroes a team of five uh get some good synergy going on all right and then you will fight in the arena guys as like everything else you will challenge the arena and you will keep grinding onto the top Okay, now, here's a trick. The milestones. This changes every three days, I'm pretty sure. So, last one was High Roller. So, let's take a look at the High Roller one. Um, all you have to do is complete six milestones here. Now, here's the trick. Save up some of your progress. So, in the High Roller milestone, it only counts your spending of gold. So it says spend all your, you know, as much gold as you can during that event to reach tier six and you get some extra goodies. So just by spending your gold, you will be able to get extra goodies. So what you should do is if you have a hero promotion, a couple of tricks. Uh, in the beginning, it'll be easier to spend your gold because there's going to be a lot of things 
that you need to spend your gold on but later on once you you know the game starts slowing down so let's say I have a daredevil right here and everybody if you pre you know pre-register pre you get a free daredevil so if I have a daredevil here instead of ranking him up right now because I'm not using him on my team I am going to save the ranking for when that milestone comes back up again all right so that's how you're going to achieve milestone six save up whatever you don't need right away you know your gold and then use it when that's going on right now it's power monger so this one requires us to use power cores all right so the more power cores you can use during this milestone obviously the better the rewards uh and if you had for instance a good amount of power cores you were you've been saving them and you wanted to do some summonings or you wanted to do you know anything with the power cores then you might want to wait for this milestone to use them and then there's also another one which uh, encourage you to spend your campaign energy there's another one that encourages you to train your heroes so there's different milestones that you will see you know every other day every three days they change it all right so keep that in mind that kind of helps you out for some extra extra help a little bit of extra help there okay under that is when they run special events there's nothing going on right now um the next one is your orbs obviously over here you don't need to worry about that your campaign there is a all types of different campaign in the game right now so so far you have your heroes assembled this is you can only use heroes in that one uh, the next one is the villains united you can only use your villain heroes there the third one next is there you can use pretty much all of your heroes so any hero in your lineup you can use them all here and the next one the cosmic conflict you can use up all of your cosmic heroes you know pretty much all heroes that are from the outer galaxy right all your cosmic heroes and then they have a new one here mystic this one is coming soon so i don't know but looks like you can use up everybody for no not everybody actually only a certain amount of heroes so you want to keep that in mind so that's that one the, the campaign there uh blitz is a pretty cool feature this is a non-ending battle meaning if you have all day to, to battle you can essentially fight all day here but there is a catch at the top there you will have your timers right you only have a certain amount of timers uh to battle so every six hours your heroes refresh once you do a battle your heroes then require to use up that timer to fight again so the more you use a certain amount of heroes the more timer you have to use up and eventually you're gonna run out of timer and that's that's just how the game goes and this is actually uh, called blitz charge so I'm calling it timer but the blitz charge so yeah so that's what required to use here you will figure out how this works um, the rewards are actually really really good they keep on changing the rewards all the time so right now we have quake in there and quake is a great hero guys one of the best heroes in the game right now so she's very very good but to rank in the top 10 um it's difficult <laughs> it's a lot of battling that is required so you just got to keep battling all the time here so it gets a little bit you know hard to keep up with that but if you don't like that then you can just join the arena so it all works out next up is the alliance so you want to join an alliance as soon as possible guys all right join your alliance right in your in your alliance page there's not much to do right now but where it does get interesting and it's worth it is your alliance raids all right so once you open up your alliance rates and i recommend that you know if you are in a high alliance you open up level 50 as many times as possible right you're gonna have three different teams here eight players each uh you know each team you go inside and then you pretty much have to defeat all heroes in the raid all right so you kind of got to work with your guild here everybody's got to attack you got to complete these within the time limit because they're very very worth it uh let's back out of here every time you attack you gain some uh you know raid coins and then you can use up your coins here your raid orbs and you can purchase all types of different things uh, right now I'm going for Rodan the Accuser as you can see because I don't have him but yeah you can use those for all types of things here so that's why it's so good about raids you definitely want to you know keep on on the raids always do your raids and then that pretty much explains the whole game in its entirety guys that's all you need to know now let's quickly just go ahead I'm going to just quickly break down all the heroes for you and show you what heroes to work on initially right off the bat and then I will do more you know spe specific hero spotlights as the game you know goes on but 
All right, let's start off with one of the best, maybe if not the best hero in the game. That is Yandu. This dude is a beast. Yandu is very useful, guys. He's got a lot of cool abilities. Um, uh, AoE attack. He's got a summon ability. So he, you know, summons multiple uh, allies to the field. And um, he's just a really, really good array of abilities. This one here, on turn, there's a 50% chance to copy positive effects of one enemy. Uh, apply all positive effects to self. Clear positive effects from the enemy. So, this is actually a very underrated ability. Not many people talk about this, but this one is very, very good. So, keep that in mind. Yandu, one of the best heroes in the game. So, definitely work on Yandu. And he's a little bit easier to, you know, to find because there is uh, two places that you can get him at once you get later on in the battle. But... Uh, you can get him right early off, chapter 1, 9, and then you can start working from him, you know, on him from there. Hawkeye is another good uh, hero to have. He's not must-have hero top tier, but he's a decent hero to have. Uh, he will blind, and he will also debuff your enemy. He can take away their buffs, which is pretty, pretty useful. The best tank in the game is Captain America. This guy is awesome. He's got some really good abilities. Uh, he can taunt also buff up your team so just quickly captain america is a great hero to have quake is a great hero uh aoe damage she slows on her basic she will slow your opponent and she also debuffs uh their positive effects it takes the, those away so she's a great hero to have hulk you can get from achievements all right that's the only way to get hulk just keep playing the game if you log in for 30 days straight i'm pretty sure you will be able to get him easy so that's how you get hulk he's a good tank uh, a lot of HP, a good amount of damage as well. So he's also one of the better tanks in the game to have. Uh, Black Widow, yes, keep working, you know, get Black Widow. She's a little harder to get now. She was easier before the update, but she's a little bit harder now. So get Black Widow, she's good. Uh, Thor is, right now he's a so-so hero, but obviously Thor, a huge hero in the game. Um, I'm pretty sure that he's going to be more useful down the line. And a lot of these heroes, guys, this is how these games go. They have leaps and valleys. So uh, there's a time where some heroes are not as good. And then all of a sudden, they're going to buff them up. Give them some great, uh, you know, abilities. And then all of a sudden, boom, they are top dog once again. So um, every hero is going to be useful at some point in the game. I'm pretty sure every team, every hero is going to be useful. Uh, let me just say that right off the bat. Um... Just quickly going down here. Kingpin is a great hero as well. He also will summon minions to do his bidding for him. Um, he also has a great team buff. Really, really good team buff. So, you know, he does good. Night Nurse is a great healer to have. So, pretty much the uh, Nebula is another good hero. Spider-Man is also really, really good. Punisher, he's pretty good. He's got a... City allies gain 5% damage to all enemies. This is also you know, a nice ability um, to have versus dealing a lot of damage. So when you want a team that's going to deal a lot of damage, which right now in the game, they don't have that a certain boss. Whoever in your raids, you know, whoever stacks highest gets the better rewards. So if you want to do really, really good damage in your raids, Punisher is a good hero to have to give you an extra um you know buff to your all your city allies so he's really good in that sense of the you know in the game but anyways these are all the heroes in the game guys and i don't want to make this video too too long and show you each one one by one uh wolverine just actually just was released with the update yesterday with the global launch uh the good thing about wolverine is you once if you do your daily tasks every single day uh you're gonna get five shards of him and if you do them Every day for seven days, I'm pretty sure, you will be able to unlock Wolverine, which is great because he's got some awesome abilities here. So I was really impressed with his abilities. Seems to be one of the better uh, DPS heroes in the game, plus self-healing. So it's going to be very important. So he's got this on-turn regenerate. So it's going to be really good for the raids. I'm sure it's going to be really good for the, for the raids. So yeah, that pretty much breaks down most of the game guys if you didn't already know now you know how it works i hope you guys enjoy it leave a thumbs up if you do uh sub if you haven't already guys because there's gonna be more content on marvel strike force now that it's out you know uh, for everybody to play so anyways guys 
keep up with the progress. I will check you guys out on the next Marvel Strike Force video. Till then, have a good morning, good afternoon, and good night.